Hey guys, welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Adam, and I'm going to show you how to play my arrangement of Called Out in the Dark by Snow Patrol. I actually just saw them in concert over the weekend, and it was a great show, so I'm excited to uh, give this tutorial for you guys on how to play this. I'll warn you uh, in the beginning that this is a difficult uh, piece to play, even for me. Um, I had to do a lot of takes before I finally got it right, so um, it's tricky. There's a lot of bar chords that are partial bar chords where I'm just holding these notes. So you have to have the open strings on the treble strings, so something like that, just to give you an idea of kind of the shapes that you're going to have to make. Okay, so it's going to be difficult, and the way I'm going to show how to do this, I'm just going to play it very slowly. If there's some tricky parts or certain things, I'll, I'll give some more details, but for the most part, what you have to do is just listen to it and um, use your ears. Most of it's just knowing the melody and accenting the melody and everything else is kind of in the background. Because um, I play kind of randomly, I just accent the melody and that's kind of the technique I use. So showing you all the fingers isn't going to help as much as developing your own ear and figuring out how to accent the melody. So let's get started. So I'm just going to play it very slowly. First of all, we're in drop D and the capo is on the third fret of the guitar. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm going to do a bar on the uh, actual seventh fret of the guitar. Sorry. <laughs> And just repeats that again uh, and then we go to this part um, I would move your fingers towards the uh, this way a little bit to get that warmer sound instead of here's one of those tricky chords um, so from here and then ring finger and pinky are both going on the actual 7th fret of the guitar 6th um, string and 4th string so from there that's a chord I'm playing so that part again that part again. Okay, then it repeats that part again. And then we start uh, um, where the slapping comes in. So uh, if you haven't already, check out my Tutorial Tuesday number one. The very first one I made shows how to do some of the slapping stuff. Kind of the pattern, just to show you, is it's kind of like a, let's see, maybe I'll just hold that. So just doing on the bottom four strings, it's going to be a pattern like this. Let's see, sorry, I'm getting confused playing it. So I'll slow that down. I just had to get get the groove so I remember it. So 
that's the pattern. Um, you just have to use your ear and figure that out because it's so it's so complex to describe. So I'll, I'll do it one more time really slowly just in case you don't have it yet. See so yeah, if I do it too slow I can't figure it out, hon. One thing I can't say is the thumb kind of does a similar rhythm as. Except doing this. If you can hear it. Okay, so here we go. Sorry. Uh, okay, so it just starts with the bar. Try not to hit the second string like I just did. Here's another hard chord. Sorry. Um, what's the next? Oh, sorry. This is where we have to do this chord. So it's a partial bar on strings 4, 5, and 6 on the 7th fret of the guitar, but also on my ring finger on the 9th fret of the 4th string. So. so the melody is... So I'm on the third string, first string, second string, then the fourth string. Holding down the second fret relative to the capo there. Still doing a half bar here. Pinky is on the third string. Finally, an easy chord. But then a hard chord. This one again. Um, so. time I go through the chorus. Sorry, that's the chord. Eh. Keep the pinky on. I actually haven't played this since I made that video, which is like two months ago, I think, so I'm a little rusty. Um, and then it uh, does a... So it's like down, 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 up, slap. Down, 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 up, slap. Down, 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 up, slap. And it's the same thing as before, just with slapping. So, sorry. I do it a little bit in between.
and then it does the pre-chorus and the chorus again. And then I do the chorus, I kind of uh, fade out a little bit, um, and I stop slapping. But this just kind of goes to show um, how I'm accenting the melody in this part. If you just watch or listen to how I'm playing, you can really hear the melody. <laughs> <laughs> so it really doesn't matter, I'm just playing random other notes, it really doesn't matter which ones you play. Um, just make it sound nice, and at the end it ends up on the 10th fret of the guitar on the 6th string. sort of deal. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you know, it's it's hard for me to explain more than that uh, without taking up you know already over 11 minutes without taking you know a whole half hour. But um, it's definitely a good exercise to use your ear. And if you th are thinking about making your own arrangements, um, it's definitely the best way to go is to just figure out the melody and accent that, and then find out chord shapes that fit that melody. And if you can, some bass notes also if you can do a bass line. Um, I'm not doing much of a bass line in this, I'm just doing a lot of repeated notes, you know, like, stuff like that. But there you go. Um, good luck, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.